Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. I have combined all the videos in our HTML Entities Converter video series into this single long video so that it's easy for you to follow. Now in this video, we're basically going to create this HTML Entities Converter using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So if you add any text over here and if I click on Convert, we can see that the HTML Entities of these symbols are displayed over here. And we can just go ahead and click on this Copy button and paste it anywhere you want. So this is what we're going to design in this video and uh, in the end I will also show you how to add this design to your blogger website and I will also leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's get started. So first of all let me show you how it works. We can see that we have this input field over here. This is basically a text area. Now here you can add any HTML content. So for example, if I just type less than div greater than and this is the start of a div and I just type hello and let's just close this division right here. And now if I click on convert, we can see that we have the HTML entities converted over here. So this less than symbol is converted into ampersand LT semicolon and then we have this div and then we have this greater than symbol converted into ampersand gt semicolon and so on. So in this way we can convert HTML entities using this tool. All right, once you have converted everything you can just copy this from here. You can also click on this button for copying the code. So if I click on this button, here we can see we have this notification and if I just paste it over here, we can see that the code was actually copied. So this is what we're going to start designing in this video. In this first video I'll just show you how to create the design and in the next video we will write the functionality. So let's get started. Right here I have created this folder called HTML entities and I have opened it with VS code. Now let's create the necessary files. So let's click on new file and let's create an HTML file. I just name it index.html and let's also create a CSS file. I just name it style.css and let's also create a JavaScript file. I just name it main.js. Let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. Right, let's link our CSS file over here and let's also link the JavaScript file over here. Right now let's start with the markup of our design. So the first thing we will do is uh, we'll create a container division and let's give it a class of HTML entities converter. And in that we will have an H2 for this heading. So let's just type HTML entities converter over here. And let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you install this in your VS Code, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And now we can see that our heading is displayed in the browser. Let's go ahead and start designing the rest of the content. The next thing we need to have is this text area. So for that let's create a text area element. And I'll just delete all of these uh, attributes from here. And let's give it a class of input text. Right, the next thing we need to have is this button. So let's create a button element. And in the button let's type convert. And for the button, let's give it a class of convert button. And the next element we need to have is this result division. So for that, let's create a division and uh, let's give it a class of result outer. And in that for the actual text, we will have a division with a class of result. And we'll also need to have this copy button over here. So let's create that over here inside this result outer division. So let's create a division with the class of copy code btn. And in that we need to have this icon. So we will use an icon from heroicons.com. Right here I'm in heroicons.com and let's search for copy. And let's copy this icon from here. I just click on copy svg and let's paste it over here inside this copy code button division. And then we need to have one more division for the notification. So if I click on this copy code button, here we can see we have this notification. So let's create a division for that. So let's create a division with the class of notification. 
and uh, in that I'll just add this text I just type code copied to the clipboard right now let's go back to our uh, website and this is how it looks right now right now let's go ahead and start styling this so we have already linked our CSS file over here so let's go to the styler CSS file and first of all let's target this uh, main container division which is HTML entities converter so let's type dot HTML entities converter and let's give it a max width of 700 pixels and we'll also bring it to the center so let's type margin 0 for top and bottom and auto for left and right and we also want these uh, elements to have full width so I'll just set the display to flex and flex direction to column and now we can see all these elements have full width now let's add some gap between these elements so let's type gap and I'll just set the gap to 12 pixels and let's set the font family to Roboto so I'll just have font family Roboto and sans serif right now let's style this uh, h2 so the h2 is uh, directly inside the HTML entities converter so let's type HTML entities converter h2 and uh, for this we will set a font size of 32 pixels and uh, let's set the text transform to uppercase and we'll set the font weight to 900 and let's bring it to the center so let's type text align and set it to center and we'll set the color of the text to 023047 and uh, let's also set the margin to 16 pixels and I think that looks alright so now let's style this text area and we'll have almost a similar style for this uh, result division as well so let's target both of these uh, elements so for the text area we have this class of input text and for the result we have this uh, division with the class of result outer and in that we have this uh, division with the class of result so let's type HTML entities converter input text and HTML entities converter result and let's set the height to 180 pixels and let's set the padding to 16 pixels and uh, that looks alright now if we type something over here we can see that the font is not set so we need to set the font of uh, the text area and the input fields separately so I'll just copy this line of code from here and paste it over here so we have set the font family to Roboto and let's set the font size to 18 pixels and let's set the line height to 1.7 and uh, I think that looks alright now here we can see on the right side we have the option of resizing this text area so I'll just disable that here I'll just target the input text so I'll just type HTML entities converter input text and uh, let's type resize and let's set it to none and now we can see that the resize icon is not being displayed now if we go back to our design and if I add a number of uh, lines of code over here and if I click on convert we can see that this uh, result division is scrollable so let's do that let's go back to our uh, CSS and let's target this result division so I'll just type HTML entities converter result and I'll just set the overflow Y to scroll right now the next thing we will do is style this convert button so for the convert button we have a button with the class of convert BTN so here let's type HTML entities converter convert BTN and first of all let's add a background color and let's set the background color to 023047 and uh, we have a typo over here we need to type convert btn right now we can see we have the background color and let's remove the border so I'll just type border and set it to none and now let's set the color of the text to white and let's set a padding of 10 pixels 
and uh, let's set the text transform to uppercase and uh, we will set the font size to 18 pixels well, let's try 16 pixels and uh, let's set the cursor to pointer so when we hover over this we need to have the pointer so let's type cursor pointer and uh, the next thing we will do is we will add some letter spacing so let's type letter spacing and let's set it to 4 pixels and I think that looks alright right now the last thing we need to style is uh, this result division over here so first of all let's go ahead and resize this icon so for the icon we have this division with the class of copy code btn and in that we have this svg so first of all let's do that let's type html entities converter and copy code btn svg and let's set the width to 24 pixels and cursor to pointer and now we can see it has the correct width right now let's style the result outer division so if you go back to the html file here we can see we have this division with the class of result outer so for that we have a different background color so let's do that let's type html entities converter result outer and let's type background and let's set the background color to BDE0FE right now the next thing we need to do is we need to bring this uh, copy button to this top right corner over here so for that let's target this copy code button division I'll just type HTML entities converter copy code BTN and we'll set the position of this to absolute and we need to position it relative to this result outer so here we need to type position relative and now we can go ahead and add a top and a right value so let's type top and let's set it to let's try 10 pixels and uh, right to 10 pixels and now we can see we have the copy icon in the correct place now the last thing we need to style is this notification division and for that we have this division with the class of notification so let's style that I'll just type HTML entities converter notification and let's set the position to fixed and uh, we'll set the bottom position to 0 pixels and uh, let's set the left position to 50% and uh, now if you go back here we can see that the notification division is at the bottom but it starts from the center so we need to type transform translate X and set it to negative 50% and now we can see it is exactly in the center we'll also bring it up a little bit so I'll just change this to translate and uh, for the X axis we will have a value of negative 50% and for the Y axis I'll just type negative 30 pixels and now let's add a background color so let's type background and I'll just set it to black and let's set the color of the text to white and uh, let's add a padding and let's set the padding to 10 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right and uh, let's add a border radius and uh, let's set it to 24 pixels now this division should not be displayed by default so when we click on this copy code button it should be displayed for a certain amount of time and then it should disappear so what we will do is when we want it to be displayed we will add a class called active so by default we will set the transform translate to let's try 50 pixels for the y axis so now if we go back to our design we can see that the notification is not being displayed but when we add the active class we will bring it back so let's type HTML entities converter notification dot active and here let's copy this line of code from here and let's paste it over here and here instead of 50 pixels let's type negative 30 and we'll also add a smooth transition so let's type transition and I'll just set it to all 400 milliseconds is and now if you go back to our design we can see that the notification is not being displayed but if you go back to our HTML and in the notification if I just add a class of active now we can see that the notification is being displayed 
So with that we have completed designing the HTML entities converter page. Right here is the source code and uh, here we have already linked our main.js file. So let's start writing the JavaScript. Now we need to reference some of these elements from the HTML into our JavaScript for the code to work. So we need to reference uh, the text area because uh, we need to get the input from uh, this text area and we need to process it. And then we need to reference this uh, convert button because when we click on the convert button the conversion should happen. And then we need to reference this uh, result division over here. So let's reference all of these three elements into our main.js file. So let's type const input text equals document dot query selector and it's inside a division with the class of HTML entities converter. So let's type dot HTML entities converter and that we have this text area with a class of input text. So let's type dot input text and now let's reference the convert button. So let's type const convert btn equals document dot query selector html entities converter convert btn and then we need to reference the result division so let's type const result equals document dot query selector html entities converter result right now we need to add an event listener to this convert button and uh, we need to convert all the code that we have inside this text area to HTML entities. So let's type convert btn dot add event listener and let's listen for the click event and let's create an arrow function over here. And the first thing we will do is we will store the text inside this input text element into a variable. So let's create a variable called input and let's set it equal to input text dot value. So this will store the value of this input text which is this text area inside this uh, input variable and now we will call a function called convert entities and uh, we're going to create this function in a minute and we're going to pass this input as an argument so let's type input over here and we'll also return the output from this function so I'll just store it inside a variable let's name it result text and the last thing we need to do is uh, we need to display this result text inside this result division so for that let's type result dot inner text equals result text right now let's create this function called convert entities so let's type const convert entities and uh, we're gonna get the input over here so I'll just call it str for string and uh, you can name this anything you want right now let's return the output so let's type return and uh, here we need to type str which we get from here and we will use the replace function so let's type replace and in the replace function here we can see there is a search value and also a replace value. So for the search value we will add a regular expression. So the first thing we need to do is add forward slashes and in that we need to add square brackets and here we have to provide all the special characters we want to have for the HTML entities conversion. So let's type less than, greater than, ampersand, double quotes. And you can add more special characters if you want. I'll just leave it at these four. So we have less than, greater than, ampersand and double quotes. So this is basically a regular expression. And here I will also add a G flag to match for all the occurrences in this string. Right now for the next argument, let's create a function. And uh, we will return something from this function. So let's create this function over here. And here in this function, we get the replaced value. So I'll just call it C for character and uh, here I'll just type return and we need to return the HTML entity of uh, these symbols so for that I'll just create an object over here so let's name it characters and let's create an object and in that we will have all these uh, symbols so let's type less than and we will have them in key value pairs so for the less than let's type ampersand lt semicolon so this is the html entity for less than and the next one is greater than so here let's tap ampersand gt semicolon and then we have ampersand and for this we need to have 
ampersand amp semicolon and then lastly we have double quotes so I just add it inside single quotes and here let's type ampersand quote semicolon so these are basically the characters and we're going to replace these special characters with these values over here so here we need to return characters which is this object and here we need to type square brackets and uh, the replaced text which is C so what this will do is it will search for these uh, symbols in our text and if it has any of these symbols then it will pass this symbol to this function and we'll get that over here and uh, we will look for this symbol inside this object over here and then we will just return this value from this function so this is how it works right now let's see whether it works so let's go back to our design and uh, let's just type less than and let's click on convert and here we can see it says ampersand lt semicolon let's type greater than and we can see that everything is working all right so i'll just go ahead and copy uh, this code from here and i'll just paste it over here and uh, now let's click on convert and now here we can see it has converted all of these symbols into these uh, HTML entities so everything is working all right now the last thing we need to do is we need to make this copy button work so here we can see when we click on copy we have this notification and uh, the text is copied to the clipboard so if I paste it over here we can see that the text was copied so let's go ahead and do that let's go back to our uh, HTML and here we can see for the copy code button we have this division with the class of copy code button and we also have to display the notification so here we can see we have this division with the class of notification so we have to reference these two elements notification and copy code btn so here let's type const copy code btn equals document dot query selector HTML entities converter copy code btn and const notification equals document dot query selector html entities converter notification right now let's scroll down and let's add an event listener for the copy code btn so let's type copy code btn dot add event listener and we need to listen for the click event and let's create an arrow function over here Now the first thing we will do is we will store the data that we need to copy inside a variable so let's create a variable called to copy and I'll just set it equal to result dot inner text so this will store the value of this division right here inside this variable to copy and then you have to type navigator dot clipboard dot write text and then here to pass this variable to copy now this will return a promise so let's type then and uh, here let's create an arrow function and once you have copied it we can show the notification so I'll just create a function to show the notification I'll just type display notification right now let's create this uh, display notification function so I'll just type const display notification now here the first thing we need to do is we need to add the active class to the notification so if we go back to the style.css file here we can see we have styled this in such a way that if we have the active class the notification will be displayed and if you don't have the active class it will be hidden so let's go back and let's type notification dot class list dot add and we will add the active class and then we also need to hide the notification so we need to remove the active class after some time so I'll just type set timeout and for the timeout I'll just type 3000 which is 3 seconds so the notification will be hidden after 3 seconds and here we need to just type notification dot class list dot remove active right now let's go back to our design and let's see whether everything works all right so I'll just copy this from here and paste it over here and let's click on convert and now we can see that it is converted 
and uh, now let's go ahead and uh, click on this copy button and here we can see that the notification is being displayed right now let's go ahead and paste it over here and let's see whether it was actually copied so i'll just right click over here and click on paste and here we can see that it was indeed copied so everything is working all right so that's basically how you can create this html entities converter using html css and javascript Right here, I'm in the dashboard of my Blogger website and you can add this design into a post or a page in your Blogger website. If you want to add it inside a page, you can just go over here to Pages and click on New Page and add the code. But I'll just add it inside a post. So let's go over here to Posts and let's click on New Post. And here for the title, let's just type HTML Entities Converter. Now here the first thing you have to do is change this to the HTML view. So by default, it'll be in the compose view. Just click on this button and click on HTML view. Now here you can add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. All right, so let's add our code over here. So the first thing we will do is add the CSS. So I'll just create a style tag for that. And in this style tag, we will add the CSS. So let's go to the source code. And I will leave the link of the source code in the description. So let's go ahead and go to the style.css file and let's copy all these uh, CSS from here. So I'll just press command A and select all of these. And let's copy this and uh, let's paste it inside this style tag. Now the next thing we need to do is add the HTML. So let's make some space over here. Let's go back to our source code and let's go to the HTML file. And we need to copy all this HTML from here. So let's copy from here till here. And let's paste it over here. Now here we can see there are some things you can change. So this is the heading of the tool. So you can change this to whatever you want. And here is the text for the button. So this, we can see it says convert. You can change this to whatever you want. And this is uh, the notification text that gets uh, displayed when you click on the copy button. So here we can see when we click on copy. Here we can see we have this code copied to the clipboard notification. So you can change the text of that to whatever you want. And uh, the next thing we need to do is add the JavaScript. So let's go back to our post and let's create a script tag for that. And uh, inside the script tag, we will add the JavaScript. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file. And let's copy all this JavaScript from here and let's paste it over here inside the script tag. And now let's go ahead and publish this post and let's see whether it works. So let's click on publish and confirm. Right, our post has been published. Now let's click on view and let's see whether everything works all right. So here we can see that everything is looking all right. And let's add some text over here and uh, Let's see whether it converts it correctly. So let's click on convert. And we can see that the HTML entities are displayed over here. But here we can see that the color of this text is not black. In our design, we have black color for the text. So let's just change that. Let's go back to our post and let's go to the CSS. And here we can see for this text area, we have this text area with a class of input text and for the result we have this uh, division with the class of result so here we can see this is the result so we need to add the black color for the text for those elements so here in the input text I'll just type color and let's set it to black and even for the result let's type color and let's set it to black and let's update right now let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page and uh, now we can see we have the correct color and let's click on copy and let's see whether everything is being copied to the clipboard so let's click on this copy code button and here we can see we have the notification displayed and let's paste it over here and let's see whether it was copied and we can see that it was indeed copied so everything is working all right now let's see whether we have any errors if you don't have any text in this text area so let's click on convert and let's go to the console and here we can see we don't have any errors so everything is working all right so that's basically how you can add an html entities converter to your blogger website now if you go back to the javascript code here we can see that uh, we have added these uh, 
special characters to be converted as the HTML entities. Now, if you want to add new special characters over here, you can go ahead and add them in this same key value pairs over here. And you also have to update the symbols over here. So here we can see we have these four symbols and we have added them over here in this regular expression. So whenever you make changes to this character's object, you have to make the changes over here as well. And then it will work all right. And here we also have this duration for the notification. So right now it is set to three seconds, which is 3000 milliseconds. Now if you want to change the duration, you can change that over here. So that's basically it with the code of our design. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.